Investors Business Daily just dropped some good news for us Sofian soldiers. The SoFi app just went head to head with popular fintechs such as Webull, Robinhood, and Plaid, where 6,000 consumers have just rated their experience with the app. And guess which hit the number one spot? All the SoFi team's hard work seems to be paying off. SoFi's products and members have been skyrocketing, and there's no sign that they are slowing down anytime soon. Here's Captain Noto's two cents. I'll finish here by saying that we have been in an all-out sprint over the last four years to build out our digital product suite to meet our members' needs for every major financial decision in their lives and all the days in between. The benefits of our strategy to build a uniquely diversified business combined with a national banking license not only positions SoFi to be the winner takes most in the sector transition of financial services to digital, but also provide greater durability through a market cycle. I'm excited about where we are today and where we can go from here. SoFi is finally getting its momentum back, seeing how it's moving around the $7.75 a share range at the time of recording this, compared to its price in the previous weeks or even last month. In this video, we will go over six key reasons SoFi app is the best among other fintechs. So stay tuned and watch until the end of the video. You don't want to miss this one. Disclaimer, we are not financial advisors and this is not financial advice. So always do your own due diligence. Without further ado, let's get right into it. SoFi started out with just one product back in 2011. There seemed to be a huge problem that existed within colleges everywhere that not many companies were tackling. This problem was with student loans. Now, this is where the light bulb appeared. And to be more specific, it happened at Stanford where Mike Cagney, Dan Macklin, James Finnegan, and Ian Brady raised roughly $2 million from 40 alumni who lent an average amount of $20,000 to 100 students. To this day, SoFi's lending segment is growing at an incredible pace and total products have been consistently increasing to about 5.9 million products. Here are six reasons why 6,000 surveyed customers found SoFi app to be the best out of all the other fintech apps out there. Number one, customer service. To be a household brand, you're going to have to keep your customers happy. Hence the saying, customers are always right. In IBD's survey, SoFi scored 64.3 in customer service, crushing all of the competition. Following SoFi's footsteps were Webull and Played, which scored 61.7 and 58.4 respectively. A Reddit user named Dakota Dick was having a banking issue related to making deposits. Here is an example of SoFi providing superior customer service. Here's what Dakota had to say about his experience. Quote, the SoFi rep was very pleasant to talk to and clearly understood my problem. He also said, quote, I also had very little hold time, and when I did call before I got to speak to someone, less than a minute, if that. Less than a minute? What? I don't know about you guys, but our experience with customer service at our previous banks had been absolutely awful. In fact, half of the time, companies make you talk to robots on the phone that can't understand what you're saying or what the issue even is. An hour after talking to some garbage robots, and if you're lucky, you finally get into contact with an actual human representative. If you've ever had any type of experience with SoFi's customer service, comment them down below. We'd love to hear about them, and your input would help the SoFi community tremendously. SoFi members can reach customer service anytime. They can do it by phone or through chat, as simple as that. Number two, ease of use. If your money is working toward the same goals, why keep it in different places? SoFi is a one-stop shop for your finances, designed to work better together. Spend with SoFi and get cashback rewards that automatically go toward your goals, like investing in stocks, ETFs, and crypto. That's better together. Or pay down your SoFi debt sooner. That's better together. And that's how SoFi is helping millions get their money right. SoFi is literally designed to be a one-stop shop to help you get your money right. Scoring a whopping 80.1, SoFi leads in the ease of use category, while Webull and Robinhood follow with a score of 69.1 and 68.4. Let's check out David's comment on the SoFi app, who just rated SoFi 4 out of 5 stars on Google Play. Can't deny it either, as Investopedia seems to share the same thoughts about it, saying that the SoFi mobile app is, quote, 
well-designed and easy to navigate. Let's say you're glancing at your bank account and see you have extra cash that you would like to be able to invest. Literally, all you have to do is go from SoFi Money tab to the SoFi Invest tab and get to pick which stock you'd like to invest in. Have a personal loan from SoFi? In the next tab over, you can check on your loan and there's no need to use three or four different apps because it's all on one easy to use app. Number three, fair prices or fees. According to Dutch Bank, hope we're saying that right, Pricing is currently more relevant for retail banks than ever. Prices play a central role for a customer satisfaction and profitability. Scoring a 59, SoFi still ranks third among the fintech players in the market. This speaks volumes. Number four, rewards. Where else do you see a banking app that rewards you for spending, saving, investing, and borrowing money? In short, for being human. Scoring the highest among four fintechs, SoFi gets a 53.7 in the reward category, followed by Played. Not to be confused with Tesla Model S Played. <laughs> Acorns and Stash follow. With SoFi, you can turn points into cash with SoFi checkings and savings. Convert points into fractional shares of stock with SoFi Invest and you can even get statement credits when using the SoFi credit card. Maybe even redeem points on some SoFi loans. Lastly, you can even convert points into crypto with SoFi Crypto. To make it even better, SoFi points don't expire. So if you're trying to hedge against inflation, maybe just store value in the form of SoFi points and Arizona iced tea. Just kidding. Or are we? Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Number five, security slash privacy. Down to our last couple reasons, time isn't moving backward. We're truly in the digital age where data about our accounts is facing ever increasing threats. Ranking second, SoFi came in clutch with a score of 78.8 .8 for security slash privacy following Weeble. All you need to rob a physical bank is a mask, a weapon, and a very low IQ. This obviously lowers the chance of SoFi running the risk of getting robbed since fintech banks have no physical locations. And if you're a hacker, good luck trying to break through that. And we're down to our last reason. Number six, transaction speed. Ranking second, SoFi earns a spot with a 63.1 rating following Played, which got a 73.2 score. Like the Tesla Model S Played, Played sure is fast, but SoFi is definitely a close second. The survey was taken and asked 6,000 consumers to rate their experience with the fintech apps they used in the last 12 months. One key factor that was missing in the SoFi umbrella is in the last 12 months, Technicis, SoFi's recent acquisition was completed and implementation of its technology in the SoFi app may give Play to run for its money when it comes to transaction speed in the up and coming months. By the way, if you haven't already, currently we're at 3,852 subscribers and it shows that 71% aren't subscribed. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on new vids. Even though SoFi leads in most categories, it remains to be in a close fight with some of the fintech players in the market like Weeble and Played. Fintechs are not the only competition for SoFi because the legacy banks are still out there putting in some groundwork to hop on the growing trend of digital banking. But anyways, like what Michael Jordan said, quote, success doesn't stop when you get there. Obviously, SoFi is killing the game now, but it's not resting on its laurels. It's continuing to innovate and at a faster pace, which is why we love the company. All in all, SoFi is in the best position to take the lead in the fintech industry. It may have a few setbacks, but you know what they say, minor setback for a major comeback. SoFi has recently just become SoFi Bank and it's set to get better products for its members. It may take a little time though, but just like everything else, SoFi has come a long way from where it started. Are you currently using the SoFi app? Let us know what you like about the app or what you think needs to be fixed and we'll shout you out in the up and coming video. If you haven't already, check out our social media accounts and join our SoFi Investors Facebook page. The link for that will be in the description box below and the top pinned comment. Shouts out to everyone who commented on our previous vid. Thanks for the support guys. Lastly, you know the drill. Shouts out to the Patreon community who helped to make these videos possible. Shouts out to Arthur Magazu, Wei Chu, Pietro Serra, Daniel Corbett, Mr. Welfare, Casey Patel, Jeff Sherman, Gregory Villar, who actually also has a YouTube channel on traveling the world. Check that out. Bo Park, Denzel, Shonda, Reginald Davis, Les Broadway, Christian Cardelfi, Kevin Bofrand, and Jay Bone. That wraps it up for today's video guys. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, peace.